boys. Chunk out time. Right there from my thing. Just they're on a truck, not inside the lot. You got that? <laughs> <laughs> New guy carries the toolbox. <laughs> Just going or waiting for clean? We might as well go look for LS trucks. Sorry guys if the footage is a little bumpy. We're obviously on head cam. Sorry about the wind noise. Yeah, everybody always says. that too. <laughs> Most motors in a yard like this here are in this kind of condition. Just random things pulled off. Some more complete than others. So we're definitely not getting the uh, exhaust off this one. It says 5.3 here on the VIN thing but then was it engine swapped? It's like trying to read braille. I mean, we can look around more and see what else there is. Yeah. That one looks in really good shape. Reman, so it's not an original. I'd grab that one. If I were you. Found some tires on that first one. Yeah. But getting them off. We were looking at this one because it says 5.3 here, but under your hand there, someone wrote 6 liters. Maybe 6 liters of oil. oil That's yeah. probably oh. what that is. LS motors everywhere. Yeah, there's lots of them, that's for sure. Only that that one with the alternator is the only one so far with an alternator still. Don't see a lot of these in here usually. Wrecked Turbo Cobalt SS. That's a shame because those seats are nice. The illest was the illest. Here we go. Still kind of a bitch to get in there. Yeah. I mean, like, if we could find one where the motor was out. And there we Here's one of those four corner uh, tubes. Oh, yeah, the not so rare coolant tube yeah. apparently. This top hose would probably work good for my lower rad hose on my car. Someone started doing standalone harness conversion on site here at the junkyard on this one. I mean, there is also the option of just buying a flange or cutting out a flange or welding a tube to it. Like, you don't necessarily have to get pair of these. It's easier to get these ones because they're If they're easier to get. Didn't, didn't you bring your... Yeah, I forgot it. Extra? How the fuck can you <laughs> go to the junkyard with hopes of retrieving exhaust parts? We already figured down that. Rob right. saved the day as usual by let's getting try. a hacksaw. Yeah, let's try again. So now we can go to the junkyard again. Mike's an idiot and I always forget shit. There's a tire plate. OJ Bronco. OJ Bronco. White and everything. Let's take it. And then we'll put it on eBay. Like three this is the actual tire. OJ Bronco and we'll make a fortune. <laughs> that could be a thumbnail. We found OJ's Bronco. Yeah. <laughs> it has the uh, rear water pump. Oh, it does too, yeah. With the boss in the front. So if you get one of these, you can just drill and tap that and put a fitting in there. Oh, Rob found something. So this one here, the exhaust has been cut off already, the flange is still there. So all you really got to do is take the manifold off, and those bolts will just break probably, Yeah. and then unhook it. So that one's good, so get that one off. And then I don't know about this side, what's this side got going on? Same, same thing. Same thing. So this one will work, grab bolt, pull, some of the bolts already broken. Two bolts holding this one on only. Uh, that one bolt might be hard to get at. If the transmission's gone in this one, unless we can pull the motor forward. Oh yeah. If one of us holds the motor up, you should be able to get at that last bolt, I think. This is what I was hoping for. Yeah, they're already pre-cut. See? Didn't even need the the sawzall in the oh, end. Right. Hey, what intake is that? That's from a Dodge. It's a Chevy one, isn't it? It's got a three bolt. I think that's a Dodge a, intake. There's a there was a Chevy truck right there, and that's where it came off of. I think it's a weird intake. It's got Chevy like evap port thing. 
Well, that it says replace gas gets with so and so part number. So just know. Google that part number. Huh. It looks like a uh, fast high fast intake. They're very high. That's yeah. Water. That's definitely not a dodge piece. Man. Wow, we found a unicorn intake. Unless I, it's like a doorman replacement. I think I've seen this intake before, but I just I I can't oh I need this. Hmm. Should I get it? We should get it. I'm gonna get it. Huh? I'm gonna buy it. I just want to take, I want this thing. Well, you can have it. Because really, I mean, like, look at this thing. I just cut these things off and sand down the little area, and then it's, like, smooth, and it looks... Yeah, there's not much to clean up, huh? Put some work in. Meanwhile, Remix doing all the work over here. So it says stuff about it here. I'm going to try to... Uh... So we the could dormant find something. path is more like the car intakes and that the plenum are rooted over and outside of the plenum space. Perfect. OE truck intakes are rooted under the plenum space. Oh, fuck. Fucking torque it over. Like. Here, let me try. Hey. What side's that? Oh, no. No, just stop. Yeah, stop. Uh, stop. Way. Immediately no. stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah. Put it in the back of that truck, back of that box, and then, like I said, you could probably undo these bolts or just cut. Well, you gotta undo the bolts, I guess. Unless you wanna buy the mount. Almost forgot the intake. Alright. We've set up our junkyard work area. No oh, way. That's fucking. No, I'm not budging. What we need is a really long pipe. This might be the ticket. Or it might break. Cover your eyes. Oh. <laughs> hey, why don't you just hack it off? Oh, it turned. it turned. PVC pipe to the rescue. It's ready to go. Like, just about to find something to lay on. Or whatever, and the starter's in there. So. Well, it's undone. Just trying to wiggle it out. So I started trying to get the starter off this one, as you just saw, but I decided to say, fuck it. Yeah, I'm a bitch, and I'm giving up, but fuck it. It's really in there, and I can just buy one used, or probably find one if we walk around in here laying on the ground. Need a fucking gut power. <laughs> okay, let's try number two then. Okay. We'll get it. Nice. There we go. Once again, helped by random junkyard tools. So there is a coronavirus when you bring it back. You have a 90-day 
to do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm David. Good paid, like, it's got a lift kit and shit on it. But really. So, this is the final haul for me. I got three of the pipes to start the hot side alternator and an intake for 80 bucks. Pretty good. 80? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. As long as there's 40 or something. The starter beat me, but what you gonna do? And Rob got these tires off the motorhome with no jack. I did. Fox is hungry, so turn the fucking video yeah. off and score some lunch. I agree. Deal. Pretty stoked on finding this dormant intake. It's three piece, so you can take it apart, get in there to clean it really well, maybe pour it a bit. There's the stock truck one I was gonna use. Yeah, great junkyard find. Thanks, Clayton. I started shaving the unicorn intake, the Dorman special junkyard find intake. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with uh, all these ribs in here yet. I mean, you could grind them out. I might just leave them like that and try, you know, smooth them, make them look as good as they can. We'll see. But I'll end up painting this thing and it'll be on the Sonic Sting if all goes to plan. Good find. It's cool that it has the map sensor on the back of it as well, so that's hidden. There's this one hole off to fill on top that used to be for the fuel pressure regulator uh, vacuum source. But other than that, pretty good. And here's the wheel that you saw Rob trying to pry off that one ton truck. He's uh, painted them up. Another good junkyard find, some pretty good tires. So we're out for our local cruise night now. We got the shit horse, Rob's S10 and my S15 on deck. Some other people showing up as well. Decent amount of cars out tonight. Fancy cars, that is. Not so many right now. But there is, believe me. That's gonna do it for this video, so make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that stuff, and we'll see you in a week or maybe soon.